Welcome to the official Windows channel and today we're talking about upgrade to Windows 10. What will you lose, keep, not really sure? Well, Microsoft, while it announced that July 29 is the release date of Windows 10, released a few notes with it and one of the notes is about what is going to upgrade, what you might lose or not while you upgrade to uh, Windows 10. Well, first of all, for those that are in the media, Windows Media Center, and there's a lot of people that are really big fans of the Windows Media Center because it is a fantastic multimedia experience when a PC is plugged to a big screen TV. Well, the Windows Media Center, uh, whether you have Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Professional, Windows 7 Ultimate, Windows 8 Pro with Media Center, Windows 8.1 Pro with Media Center. Well, Microsoft did say that when you install Windows 10, Windows Media, Media Center will be removed. So this is a sad thing and probably uh, something that will prevent some users to actually go into Windows 10. So if you're a big fan of the Media Center, if you love your Media Center, uh, upgrading to Windows 10 will make you lose the Media Center, which is really sad actually, um, because I think it's a great product and it would be would have been nice to have it, you know, continued on. But uh, also at the same time, the Media Center is something the very, very, very small amount of people use, so that's why it's not really important for Microsoft. Um, another thing that's going to happen is the DVD playback feature, but if you have the Media Center, you know that you can play DVDs natively in Windows 7. Um, if you don't have that, a lot of you probably notice that when you play a DVD, there's a third-party DVD player that pops up. Uh, Power DVD or, you know, any other types of DVD player. I know Toshiba has its own, like, Toshiba DVD uh, thing and so on. Um, and if you play DVDs in Media Player in Windows 7 and Windows 8, it's because there's a third-party software that adds this capability. It's not there by default in Media Player. And so by adding a third-party software, it adds the codecs that are necessary for DVD playback. Well, if you have a third-party DVD playback software, from what they say, it's not that it's going to be removed. Uh, your, your software will still be there and probably still work. It's just that Microsoft says that the DVD playback app in Windows 10 will kind of be the default app. So it means that you'll still have Power DVD, for example, after the upgrade. But when you pop a DVD into the drive, you'll notice that it's the DVD playback app that will actually start instead of it. So you'll have to change these defaults. Uh, the desktop gadgets, if you're one of those that loved the desktop gadgets like the calendar and the weather and so on that appeared in Vista and were pushed on to Windows 7, these will be removed. So no more gadgets and there are no gadgets in Windows 10, so this will be gone from Windows. Um, it's a little sad for me because I actually enjoyed having weather and uh, calendar and clock gadgets which was really nice but you know you can always install third-party software that do add these types of features but uh, if you're using the ones in Windows 7 they're going to be gone in Windows 10. Pre-installed games now that's an interesting one pre-installed games uh, and when they say pre-installed it's the basic games that you have with your computer in Windows 7 uh, Solitaire, Minesweeper, Hearts and so on these will be removed when you upgrade, but will be replaced with a new uh, modern version of Solitaire and Minesweeper in the uh, Microsoft Solitaire collection and the Microsoft Minesweeper. Uh, and they will be available in Windows 10 as the modern apps. So you'll still have these games. They're just going to be different from the uh, pre-installed games that were in Windows 7. Now for this is very important. If you play games uh, and install games in your PCs, we are talking about the pre-installed games, the ones that were basically with the computer, not 
you know anything you might have installed yourself later on uh, these will probably be upgraded to the Windows 10 also floppy drive support if you still use floppy disks uh, well the USB floppies that are around you will need a special driver that will be issued by the manufacturer of the floppy drive it won't be in Windows 10 Windows 10 drops support for floppy drives which I think is normal because I really can't see anyone using floppy disks in 2015 but if you do have a floppy USB floppy um, keep in you know keep in mind that you'll need a special driver by the manufacturer of the floppy in Windows 10 that is dropped Windows Live Essentials if you've installed these things like Windows Live Mail and so on uh, you know writer uh, photo gallery and stuff like that uh, mail one thing that needs to be known is that essentials will still be working thankfully because a lot of people use uh, Windows Live Mail and stuff like that and it's actually one of the important things for a lot of people because it is easy to use and they're you know used to having the same mail program all the time uh, that will stay what will change is if you have the uh, OneDrive application that came with Essentials, that will be removed and will be replaced by the inbox version of OneDrive in Windows 10 because Windows 10 has, you know, when OneDrive kind of uh, integrated into the operating system. So they're going to remove that portion from your um, Windows Live Essential stuff, but all the rest is going to stay there. So you're still going to be able to use Mail, uh, that I think is a good piece of software for you know email. So um, that's going to stay. Uh, don't be scared for that. Uh, an interesting feature about Windows updates: if you go to Windows Update, or if you go to Windows 10 Home, there will be no more way of actually you know tweaking that what I mean is that if you have Windows 10 home uh, you know in Windows 7 you could go into the control panel and say well uh, I want to see the updates before they install themselves or you could just say turn off automatic updates in Windows 10 home you won't be able to do that it's going to be automatic and nothing you can do about it apparently but we'll see when Windows 10 home is there you know there might be some workarounds but um, from what Microsoft says when Windows 10 home users will have automatic updates and that's it if you have Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise then you will be able to actually tweak the updates and install them later on if you want so uh, these are all little things that are going to happen as we go into the operating system of Windows 10 um, from what we can see most programs that you might have installed uh, yourself in Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 uh, technically and that's very important technically should still be upgraded in Windows 10 and still work but you know it's uh, especially for Windows 7 users the, I can see Windows 8.1 programs still working in Windows 10 I've no that I've got no problem with that but I have difficulty seeing Windows 7 all of Windows 7 software working in Windows 10 that's going to be a little more complicated but here are the big lines of what Microsoft issued at the same time as they announced the July 29th release date if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions about the upgrade about whatever going to happen in the future let us know and hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to the Windows channel.